Okay. So, first of all, I already know it must have been a white person. They were anonymous when they asked the question. That question is problematic. If you were just trying to get an understanding, I could get that. 27 other people apparently also liked the question. That's problematic. The thing that I took issue with was the fact that no leader actually addressed that question. I also know for a fact that other people try to respond, right? Because if, if we're going to educate, if we're going to use these calls as education, then we should be able to educate, especially if we're doing it in a respectful manner. They never let anyone address the, address the question. They kind of just glazed over it. So why are we having uncomfortable conversations at work if when people bring up triggering things, we're not going to address them and say anything about it and we're just going to act like it didn't happen? Because to me, if that's the route that we're going to go, then we should have never let that that question in and of itself come through. We should have just blocked it all together if we're not going to actually respond. That has me fucked up. In the same conversation, they asked, what could they do for Black people in the organization through the Slido? Someone said, give more colored people opportunities. I'm sorry. Colored? Who's, who's colored? You say it again? Who's co- I'm not colored. I don't. What are we talking about? Oh, wait. Like, are people, are y'all trying colored? to be... Correct. And I'm going to have to assume it was someone who speaks French because they it was it was colored, you know, with the O-U-R. But yeah, who knows? It could have just been to throw us off our trail. It could have just been an, uh, someone here because y'all root. But the, the whole conversation, I feel like it started off with good intent. But by the end of it, y'all had me fucked up. No, it, it didn't go right. It didn't go right. It didn't create a transparent dynamic it did not make anyone feel engaged it did not make anyone feel color i mean it did color shit bitch. color it, it, <laughs> it did not make anyone feel included i think it was just it was more divisive at the end of the day than anything um and i think that those are the types of things that need to be addressed like i don't want to hear you talking about the metrics that the executive team is going through i think if we're going to go the full gambit and have the discussion then let's have the discussion and when things like that come up, we need to fully address them. Otherwise, this is all show and dance, and it's all smoke screen and mirrors. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to continue to participate in conversations at work and get pissed off. I'm not going to get triggered at twelve o'clock and still have to be here until five. There's no point. I can just mind my business and turn on the news for that. So I think that we have to do a better job. Uh, at least organizationally, of making sure that when we're having the conversations, there's no point to have diverse conversations if we're not going to also bring inclusion. And you guys are not including necessarily the right people in the conversations because things are not being addressed appropriately. And I, I know... I, when things like that happen, I tend to talk to my key people at work to see, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's just me. Did anybody else see? But yeah, it was noted. And y'all got a lot of people fucked up. Okay. (sighs) Beautifully stated. I'm with you on the colored part. As far as the statues, I got questions too. I'm afraid of um, revisionist history. I know that America is disgusting with our history. And I don't want my children to grow up in a world not knowing who, whoever those niggas was and whatever those niggas, because y'all know I use it all the time, those white folks who did whatever they did. Like, I don't want it to every, I don't want any, I don't want history to be whitewashed or to be blackwashed. I think everything should be included. So, I agree. I think, um, I do think that, but I think that there's I don't a, like a statues, I think there's a place yeah. for it. And not not to mention they didn't just they said statues and the Confederate flag. So I don't want them to rewrite history, but I think that the the whole the concept of that this is not written. You creating a statue, idolizing them in the street is very different. And mm-hmm. I don't again, I mean are there Hitler statues in Germany? Are like what are there? Are there swastikas hanging up? Are we still waving that flag? We're we're not. Why do we feel it appropriate to do it here? And it's belittling. There was just Dale in Lower Delaware. They just took um one of the auction blocks, Dale. Why should someone in Lewis, Delaware, in 2020, have to walk by a slave auction block? Fuck out of here. 
It happened, but that doesn't mean that we have to keep that. And guess what? We can keep it in a museum where it belongs, where we learn about history. It doesn't have to be on my route to the beach. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't think that Black people deserve that at all. It's not right. I think this is a jumping point for another episode. So I appreciate you bringing that conversation up. And you know, we walk outside and everybody has us fucked up at this point. So like I said, eloquently stated and definitely get it. Yeah. You better than me. So hopefully they do better. So I'll put right in that slido, slido, whatever it's called. Excuse me. Y'all ain't gonna answer the question. <laughs> Somebody had a question. We need to an answer. That was good. Uh, yeah. Janice, appreciate it. Um, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this has been a very robust conversation. We definitely want to thank Phil for taking the time. This very, very early morning, <clears throat> clearly where there's still a frog in my throat and being completely transparent, I slept in a bed next to my stepmom and I'll probably get off of this call and wait um, to be arranged. It's <laughs> 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 um, been an amazing, amazing start for August first. Um, looking forward to you guys listening and I'm, I'm just enjoying this conversation. And we hope to engage more. Um, Phil, before we wrap, do you want to say anything to the people? Because you are a big part, a big bulk of the people, and we have appreciated your conversations and definitely your, um, again, relationship expert advice on how not to and why not to trust niggas. Go. We're not. <laughs> I'm sick of her framing me in, in this mode. No, I just want to uh, encourage everyone to to constantly communicate with people, keep an open mind, open dialogue. That That's, that's in relationships. That's in professional uh, relationships that's in cultural uh, experiences just keep an open mind keep an open uh, not heart open mind is all is always good uh, but an open ear and, and increased dialogue that's the only way you're able to learn outside of um, you know exploring the country that's the only way that you're able to learn consistently and locally is by opening your ear and your mind to different things so that's all I got that was beautiful. See, this is why you are our relationship expert. Exactly. Only on one subject, how not to trust niggas. I yeah. hate her. <laughs> I need more mansplation. <laughs> I used to lock her up. Somebody lock her up, please. Oh, they coming. Oh. Triggered. Oh, no. Very triggered. <laughs> this is good. So, thank you. Okay, family, right? We did it. Oh, my God. Season two. Episode one, one eight. Yeah. We uh, that's all it. Um, please rate, subscribe, comment on all platforms. Um, we've made it easier in our Instagram page to just hit the link tree and go directly to the different platforms where you can find us. Um, we are attempting to be more active on Twitter, and we are looking forward to expanding our reach and conversations with any of our listeners as we go on into season two. Follow us at the Black Effect, the Black Effect, which is T H E E B L C K E F F C T on social media. Tell your people, tell your aunties, tell your situations. Don't tell Karen or Becky or uh, oh my Lord, Eileen, Jesus. whatever open, variation you want. Open tell mind, them. tell them. Please em. don't get fired. <laughs> no, don't open me. mind, tell them. <laughs> um, Please also don't get fired. We keep saying it because don't look like we going back to regular life no time. And the soon. unemployment benefits also, are slowing down. So don't get fired. Keep that job. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all. Bye. Thank Bye. <laughs>